So it's time for Officer Don and Deanne's Backstage Pass. Today's Backstage Pass is with our friend Nico Moon. How are you, Nico? Hey, I'm great. How are you doing? We are good, thank you. Singer, songwriter, married to a songwriter. Is there anything you don't do? <laughs> I don't cook very good. <laughs> and I definitely don't dance. <laughs> you, you can do the rest, it sounds like. Have you all, are you living your dream right now? You got a new single out. You've been writing songs and, and putting music together. Yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling so blessed, you know, to, to, to be having the success that, that, that Good Time is having with my very first single is, is really a dream come true. So, yeah, I'm a hog in heaven. Well, it's going to have to succeed because you've got it tattooed all over your body. You sort of, you sort of own that one, don't you? I do, yeah. I got good time tattooed across my knees. I, I like to commemorate moments in my life with tattoos. <laughs> and so when I finished this album, before it even came out, I wanted to commemorate my first, my very first album by, uh, you know, getting a tattoo. Yeah, and we don't want to see it. But I mean, you mean literally it's on your knees? On your, that's where you did the, you did the tattoo? Yeah. <laughs> Is that hard? Like right, like right, right above my knees. I got you. Okay. Well, you said it's easy for people to see, Nico, because you wear holy jeans all the time. I do, yeah. I'm, I'm a big fan of some worn out, some worn out jeans. <laughs> <laughs> now, you've co-written songs for the Zac Brown Band, including one of my favorite, Homegrown, Keep Me In Mind. Tell us, give us a little background for those folks who have not had the opportunity to know more about you and want to learn more about you. Give us a little background on you. Yeah, so uh, I'm I'm from right down the road. I'm from uh, Douglasville, Georgia. So uh, that's where I grew up, and uh, I started out as a songwriter. I uh, I met Zach uh, in Carrollton, Georgia, uh, and we just became quick friends. And I started writing songs for him, and then I moved up here to Nashville and started writing for other country artists, and been doing that for a while. But then. Uh, I guess about a, a year ago, I decided I wanted to do my own thing and make my own kind of country music. And uh, Good Times, the very first single uh, that I got out. So now we're here. <laughs> <laughs> well, and Good Time is a good time. It's a fun one. It is. You know, it's, it's, it's my goal to make really positive, glass half full country music. I feel like that's kind of my, my purpose in life. And don't a different you Sorry, Don. It's hard doing these. <laughs> yeah, I, so your parents were song, songwriters, right? Yeah, yeah. Both of my parents are songwriters. Uh, so I grew up really with, uh, you know, with this nurturing appreciation for songwriters. So, you know, my parents listened to a lot of John Prine and uh, Amy Lou Harris and the Eagles and uh, James Taylor. Lots of songwriters, songwriters, you know. Uh, and so I grew up with this deep appreciation for the craft of songwriting and was always really curious about how it worked and everything. So they taught me how to play music, how to write music. And I'm really thankful to them for that. Nico, have you been doing a lot of uh, writing? I know a lot of the musicians we've talked to throughout quarantine, they've been able to do Zoom writes with other songwriters yeah. is that kind of what you're doing as well and and maybe you're getting a little more work done now <laughs> well i haven't i'm not doing any zoom rights because i'm really i'm really lucky in that my my co-writing partner for my music is my wife so nice. I, don't, I don't have to zoom with her <laughs> <laughs> so uh we've been working we've been uh I've, during this whole time i've really been focusing on my own music and We've been working every day on it. And I'm really fortunate that I have my studio where I'm at right now at my house as well. So this is where I made good time. I produced it as well. And uh, we're working every day on the full length album. And I can't wait to get that out. Well, we all need a little good time right now and perfect timing for that song. Can't wait to play it on the radio and, uh, and hear the things to come. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm, 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 I'm feeling so blessed by country radio and, all the love that they've been showing me and it's not lost on me for one second how amazing of a of a of a blessing it is to even be in this position you know i've been doing this for a while 
on the other side of the coin being a songwriter, you know, and watched uh watched a lot of artists, you know, some some make it and some not. And uh I'm 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 feeling very lucky to to have the people that I do believing in me. Nico, having written for Zach Brown, as you mentioned, Rascal Flats, is there somebody that you want to continue to write for, or do you just want to do it for yourself now? <laughs> I'm continuing to still write for other artists, but just not near as much as I was uh, before, because I was full-time focused on doing that before, but now that I'm doing my own thing, uh, it's definitely more of, um, more of a secondary uh, motivation at the moment, just because I'm, I'm really focused on, on doing my thing now you know it's been a minute that I've been doing that and now I, I just really want to uh kind of write songs you know from from my perspective and have a good time it sounds like yeah for sure I don't I don't do sad songs there <laughs> there's That's actually right. going to be a song on a there's going to be a song on my album called no sad songs and, so if uh, somebody wants a sad song now, we got enough sadness around us. Keep the good times coming. Nico, is there anything you would want our listeners to know about you that, you know, we're just becoming familiar with you? Is there anything you'd want them to know? Yeah, you know, um, where I grew up is a, is a big influence into the type of music that, that I write and that I make. And uh, I write everything myself I, I make the music myself with my wife and uh, one of my best friends who co-produces the music with me so it's a very I guess you would say no pun intended but very homegrown endeavor uh, and I do it here I do it here at my house so it's, it's really personal all the songs that I write are about personal experiences I, I'm not too big on kind of like creating stories for uh, for my personal music and uh, it's just real important to me to make, you know, encouraging, encouraging type music. I'm a very class half full type person. And I want to give that vibe out to people. Life is stressful enough as it is. And for that few moments that I have them, I want them to forget about whatever is kind of stressing them out and let them just enjoy being alive and enjoy music. Well, everybody listen to Good Time by Nico. And of course, your extended EP is coming too. So look forward to all that, man. Yeah, yeah, you can get the EP now. It's everywhere. It's uh, five songs, and the the full length will be will be out very soon. Well, that smile says good time, Nico. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Thanks you. for having a good time with us, buddy. We'll talk to of you course. soon. Okay. Sounds good. Take care. Bye now. Nico Moon on Officer Don and Deanne's backstage pass. <laughs>